Hi, it's Mike with AskAtractorMike.com. If I'm a salesperson at a dealership, I love getting phone calls asking to buy stuff from me, except for one thing. This is the one thing when I was in the dealership world that I hated to get a phone call for. And I'm going to answer a viewer letter today with some bad news, and I'm going to tell you a certain product that we don't want to sell and we don't want to have to quote a price for. And I'll tell you why today, so you're not real upset with the salesperson when you're looking for this. Let me read the letter first. It says, hello Mike, I have searched high and low for a loader for my tractor, front end loader. Dealers just want to sell me a tractor, not interested in helping me out. Any info would be helpful. I know it's an older machine, but I think I could even take a loader from a newer machine and mount it to the frame of my older tractor. This is from Rex. And, and Rex got a pretty good deal on a really low-houred older tractor. Let's talk about it. When I worked in the dealership world, I was a manager of a dealership, and I would take the sales calls when all the salespeople were busy, the overflow. And the one call that I, I didn't want was generally, I worked in a New Holland dealership, Rex has got a Kubota, but at the New Holland dealership, the phone call would be like this. I found a deal on an older Ford 1510 in great shape, doesn't have a loader, I want to quote for a front end loader. And I'm like, oh no. This is what happens when, when you get that call. And Rex has a Kubota B2400 and great shape, Ford, Ford 1510s were the same way. Back in that era, when those tractors were sold, it was before the advent of zero-turn mowers. And a lot of folks would order these, these tractors with a belly mount mower on them and no front-end loader. Well, if you notice today, if you go on your dealer's lot, like every tractor's got a front-end loader on it. It's because like 99 plus percent of tractors sold, especially small ones, are sold with front-end loaders on them from the factory. But these older tractors were sold without front-end loaders. And you can't get a new loader from Kubota or New Holland or I don't think anybody, any of the tractor companies, sell new front-end loaders for older tractors. So you have to go to the aftermarket or find a used loader. Well, let's talk about used loaders first. The ideal thing for Rex, and this could be a possibility, is to go on one of the online places where you can buy stuff and, and enter in used loader for B2400, and I think that's an LA301. The problem is I looked on Tractor House, which is the main place that dealers offer their inventory for sale, and like right now, almost half of the tractors out there don't have front-end loaders. So if I had a used front-end loader, I'd price it at a premium price because everybody that has a tractor without a loader probably wants a loader, and there's just not many used ones out there. And a B2400 will not get used enough to wear out, but there's just not a supply of good used front end loaders out there. And Rex, I don't recommend taking a loader that was designed for a different tractor and mounting it on one of these small tractors. You're opening up a can of worms there because a loader that's designed for one of these tractors is braced where it needs to be braced. And you can literally break a tractor in two if the bracing is not in the right place. So I don't, you can blacksmith it on there. A guy that's good with a torch can make it fit. But when you pick up heavy loads, you're in danger of having a problem and you can crack the transmission that holds everything together there if it's not braced right and end up with a major uh, repair that costs more than the tractor's worth. So let's talk about aftermarket loaders. And this is what I hated at the dealership, getting that call. I'd like to get a Westendorf loader for my tractor, or I'd like to get a Bush Hog loader for my tractor. And we sold them, we offered them. But like on a, a Ford 1510, that, that was the one that we had uh, in, in our line. It seemed like a lot of those were sold with belly mowers on them. I want a front end loader. Well, what happens at a dealership when you get that call is you go to the aftermarket loaders price book or you, you go onto their website and, and, and look at their, their, their price pages. And to price a front end loader, you have to price the, the loader mounts that mount it to the tractor and then the mainframe loader, which may fit several models, then a bucket and then hydraulics for it. 
And when you're looking at the loader mounts, there will be footnotes. And you better pay attention to those footnotes. And there may be a lot of them. Now, what, what's the problem with footnotes? Well, the footnotes are going to tell you what it won't fit. And, and usually what you would do, you would look at the mounts and it would have like uh, six footnotes. Uh, and they would be numbered 2, 6, 8, and 14. And then you go to the back of the loader book. Well, number two says it won't fit a tractor with a front-mounted snowplow. Okay, well, the customer doesn't have this. Number two, won't fit a tractor with ag tires or turf tires or whatever. Number three, won't fit a tractor with a cab. It won't fit, and it tells you all the stuff it won't fit. So let's say you're lucky, and none of those footnotes apply to the loader your pricing for a customer as a salesperson well and, and a lot of times they would you, you'd find out oh bush hog they can't get a loader because this tractor has turf tires and they won't fit so you go to the western north book and you start that whole process over and it literally took about an hour to uh, to focus on and get all of those pieces put together and get a price for a customer and then this is what happens when i quote you the price especially on these small tractors and even on pretty good sized tractors for a a new front end loader on a used tractor that price is way more than you paid for the tractor you might have bought the tractor for forty five hundred dollars and the loader for it's six thousand and when you put the forty five hundred and the six thousand together that comes up in the range of what a used tractor with a loader would be or you know fill in your own numbers there so you would end up, you'd call the customer back. I'd always tell them, I'm gonna, it's going to take me some time to do this. Give me time to look over the price book. And I'd find out everything on their tractor, uh, how it was equipped, the tires, and you know all the stuff on it. And then I would call them back and say, well, the price on that loader is $7,500. And they would have a stroke. That's way more than I paid for the tractor. And for whatever reason, they would be mad at me. I, I didn't make the price of the aftermarket loader. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to make money, but I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not doubling my margin here. You know, 10 or 12 percent margin is all I can get out of this, and even that was too much. So that's the call that we don't like to get at a dealership. And and Rex, uh, I'm just telling you, uh, keep calling dealers that offer aftermarket loaders. And there's not too many manufacturers that are even still in that business. Bush, Bush Hog is, Westendorf is, a company called Quaker is, uh, Rhino I think is, and I'm not sure there's too many other companies out there that make aftermarket front end loaders. But, but call around, look for the new one, look for a used one first, and then call around to these aftermarket loader dealers. And, and here's the deal with the dealership. Call first thing in the morning or right before they go away. Don't, don't call in the middle of the day when, it, when it, it's wild there. Uh, try to call in the off hours, and it's better if you can do it any time but this time of year because they're really busy right now seasonally. So that was the call that I hated to get in a dealership, and it wasn't that I didn't want your business. It was I didn't want to tell you bad news, and I didn't want to end on a bad note when you thought I was raping you for the cost of the loader. So that's the story on buying a tractor without a loader. Unless you get it really dirt cheap, don't expect to buy it, put a front end loader on it, and come out the way you want to. I wish I had better news. Thanks for watching.